Okay, here we go. Now that Abby's here, we can start. So, the other day, we worked with triangles, okay? And with the law of signs, if you knew angle A was like 52 and this was 14, and angle B was like 60. And this was, well, this is what you wanted to find. Okay. You can see those angles right now are in the format of angle, angle, side. We know two angles and a side. Okay. So angle, angle, side, what we used was the law of cosines. Law of sines, I mean. Okay, now we could also use in a triangle that looks like this, okay, if we had like 16, uh, not 16 there, come on, Mr. Beerschbach, 64, 8, and 52, what do you have to do in this situation to find this down here? You had to find your third angle, exactly. Okay? So if that was 116, this would be 64 as well. Okay? And so you were originally given this much. So you were given angle, side, angle. And you can use law of sines. Now... When we do law of cosines, and this will be a little later today, we'll start with law of cosines. We'll be working with side, 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 and side, angle, side. Okay? So we have angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, 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 angle, side. Okay? Those were what we worked with in geometry. Okay? Then, well, that's what I'm getting to, Miss uh, Miss Schultz. So now just no, we're getting to that, Miss Schultz. You way to ruin what I'm working for. Jeez, some people. But what we haven't done yet is angle, 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 which there's no way we can work with angle, angle, angle. Okay, and then we have. Angle, side or side side angle, I should say. Side side angle, and don't call it angle side side, because that makes an angle side side of you. So watch your mouth. Mallory, so side apart. side angle. Quit talking. Yeah. The one of the few times I agree with Amy Palmquist, but I'm totally agreeing with her now. Are you videotaping this? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Who's missing? Abby W. Abby. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. <laughs> and Alexandra. Hey, Alexandra. Hey, Alexandra. All right. So here's a situation of side side angle where we might have a 60 degree angle. This might be 14. This might be 8. Okay. Now, does the triangle look like this or. With 62, 14, and 8, does a triangle look like this? Which one is the correct triangle? Do we know? Do we know? Do we know? Yes. And the answer is, no, we don't. That is why side-side angle is the ambiguous case. We don't always know. So today, on our problems, we could have one answer. We could have two answers. Or we could have... The triangle doesn't exist, given what we're given. So, let's get started. Determine the number of triangles with the given parts. If possible, then solve each triangle. So, we have an angle and then two sides. 
So when you draw this out, the way I want you to do this, step by step, there's a step by step process here. Draw an acute triangle. Take your one angle that they give you, put it in the lower left. Don't just put it random wherever you want it. Put it in the lower left. This is 43.9. So alpha matches with A, B, or C. A. So A is opposite of it. 8.2 is here. Whatever other side they give you, put over here. 10.9. So if this is B, then down here is beta, and up here is gamma. Now those letters won't always be in the same places. So don't just always go alpha, beta, gamma just the way it is on this picture. You got to put the angles and the sides down first and then letter them. So you know which letters go there, where, okay? Do it this way so it's easier for me to help you, okay? Because if you do it all random, then I won't be able to help you very much and you'll probably make mistakes. Then, once you draw that out, okay, we're going to look and see if this works for this triangle. So, what's the only thing I can do by law of signs right now? Find what? So, find angle B because we need opposites. So, I'm going to find angle B. So, I'm going to say, well, the sine of angle B over its opposite side, 10.9, equals the sine of 43.9 over its opposite side, 8.2, okay? So 10.9 times the sine of 43.9 divided by 8.2 will equal the sine of B, okay? Once you figure that out, what is that decimal, somebody with a calculator? 10.9 times the sine of 43.9 divided by 8.2. Give me four decimal places. 0.9217. 0 0.9217. Okay. But that's not what angle B is. That's what the sine of B is. Angle B is what you get when you move the sine to the other side, which becomes the inverse sine. We covered this in chapter one. The inverse sine of that. So if we do the inverse sine of that, what is angle B? 67.2. How many degrees are there in a triangle? 180. So what's the top angle going to be? Because these two add up to 112.1. Or 111.1? 111.1? Okay. So that makes a triangle, right? So we can figure this out. Okay. So once we figure out, okay, we can make a triangle out of that, then you're going to draw a second triangle. That's going to be an obtuse triangle with... Alpha in the same spot, beta in the same spot, and gamma in the same spot. But alpha is 43.9. That's given to you at the start. 8.2 for A, 10.9 for B. All those are given to you. So it's the same as the first triangle. But now for B, what I want you to do is take that 67.2 that you just got over here. Take 180 minus that. One twelve point eight. We're gonna make that B, and you're going. Why in the heck are you doing that, Miss Beerschbach? Okay. What I want you to do is take the sine of sixty-seven point two on your calculator and give me the first four decimals. Two, one, eight. Do you want us to round then, up the eight? Yeah. One, nine point two, one, nine. And now do the sine of 112.8. Same thing. 
It's the exact same thing, right? So down here, we have the inverse sine of this. So what we don't know if that angle is 67.2, what the calculator gave us, or is it 112.8? We don't know. That's what makes this so ambiguous. What's the word ambiguous mean? Unclear. Not unknown, because we know some things, but it's unclear what we know. Yeah. All right. So, now we have our second triangle. So, let's find angle gamma on our second triangle. Well, how many degrees are there in a triangle? 180. So, if you add these two up and subtract them from 180, what do you get? Should be pretty small. 23.3. Okay. Okay. So, what? So, what we need to do is find side C in each of these triangles. How do we find side C? Well, you take what you're given at the start. We were given this stuff right here, right? 43.9 and 8.2. So, we say the sine of 43.9 over 8.2 equals the sine of 111.1 .1 over C. And we cross multiply, find C. So C equals 8.2 times the sine of 111.1 .1 divided by the sine of 43.9. So what does C equal? Should be bigger than 10.9, so it should be 13 or ooh, 11. Point what? Really? Wait, what did you get? 11.03. I got 11.03. So. 11.0. I would have thought it would have been a little bigger than 10 point, quite a bit bigger than 10.9 because 111 is quite a bit bigger than 67.2. But I guess not. Okay? So that's what C is on this triangle. Let's figure out what C is on this triangle. You do the same thing, except for now you're using 23.3. So it's the sine of 43.9 over 8.2 equals the sine of of 23.3 over C. So it's 8.2 sine of 23.3 divided by the sine of 43.9. If you do that work, probably about 3, 4, somewhere in there. Well, 180 minus these two. Um, 4.6. 4.6 sounds good to me. So we have every side and every angle. We just solved these two triangles. Okay. All right. Let's take a, take a look at this one. Now, before you draw a triangle, what do you see is, that's interesting about angle B? It's larger than 90. So right off the bat, you know that this is an obtuse triangle. Can you have more than one obtuse angle in a triangle? No. So there's only one possible solution. If you're given an obtuse angle, there's only one possible solution. So you don't have to do as much work when you have this given to you. Okay? Now, I drew this wrong because I always say do this angle first. So 138.7 is first, 14.5 is here, and this is 8.5. See how I have side-side angle? Okay. So there we are. So then I have to find the rest of the parts. Well, let's label them first. This is B, so that's, this is beta, so that's B. 
This is C, so this is gamma. So alpha is here and A is here. Okay, now it's just simple law of sines. The sine of 138.7 over 14.5 equals the sine of A uh, uh, alpha. No, 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 the sine of gamma over 8.5. Because you have to use, we don't know alpha or A, so we can't use that yet until we find one more angle. Okay, so it's 8.5 sine of 138.7 divided by 14.5 and you get some tiny decimal number point what 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 four decimal places point three eight six nine okay equals the sine of y or gamma so gamma equals the inverse sine of 0.3869. So it should be fairly small. Inverse sine of 0.3869. What do we get? How many degrees? I can't hear you. 22.8. So we get 22.8. Okay, that's 22.8. So if that's 22.8, then we add it to 138.7. Five, carry the one, carry the one there. So 161.5, which leaves us with 18.5 here. So then you just use the law of sines. The sine of 18.5 over A equals what you're giving us to start of the problem. Sine of 138.7 over 14.5. You do the math and solve. I'm not even going to bother doing the math. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Now let's look at this one. Okay. What kind of an angle is that? Yeah, it is good looking. But what kind of an angle is that? Oh. Oh, I thought you said it was cute, you know. Uh, it's a uh, cute. Oh, okay. All right. So alpha is 38. A is 3.6. C is 9.8. And this angle is gamma. So B must be here. Beta must be here. Okay. So... Let's do the law of sines. So the sine of gamma over 9.8 equals the sine of 38 over 3.6. Here you go. You can solve that now. Um. Um. I will do that here in a second. Let me grab it out. <laughs> How are you, Abby? Good. Wait, are you doing it on there? Yeah, it's off. So. What? What is that? It's my five. Huh? It's a my five. What's a my five? It's wireless internet when you don't have internet for your computer, like at a football stadium or somewhere like that. <laughs> oh, do we have one on the bus? Yeah, yeah, we did. No. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know the eraser. The eraser I don't know the, the eraser. Little, the eraser is this little button here. Okay. Oh, the top button. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Okay, so... Abby just takes 9.8 times the sine of 38 divided by 3.6. So the sine of gamma equals 1.6759. Everybody agree with that? Yes. I'm sure Jesse Tappy agrees with that because that's what you got on her calculator, right? Um, <laughs> while it's still in her bag. And then if you hit inverse sine of 1.6759, what do you get? Oh. 
Oh, nothing. You get an error. Everybody agree with an error statement. Yeah, don't Oh, and then she is on it. No solution is correct. There are zero triangles where this works. It does not work. There are no triangles. Okay. So what happens is this. This is why there's no solution. It's like this, and you have a dangle. It just dangles down here, swings around, but it doesn't ever touch this. It just hangs out. Yeah, it just hangs there all day, but it doesn't touch, so it doesn't make a triangle. When it's 3.6, a 38 degree angle, and 9.8, okay? So that's how it works. Okay, let's do a couple more problems quick so you kind of get a better idea of what we're doing. What do we look for first? The angle, and we see this is obtuse. Always put your angle in the lower left, 169. Ooh, I'll put that on the inside, 169.8. It's gamma, so it's opposite of 7.2. A is 9.5, so 9.5 goes here, and alpha goes here, right? So beta and B, let's do law of sines. The sine of 169.8 over 7.2 equals the sine of alpha over 9.5. So take 9.5 times the sine is 169.2. Or 169.8 over 7.2. Equals the sine of alpha. So then alpha equals the inverse sine of that. Which is how many degrees? Can anyone else do it? What? 13.5 degrees. Thank you. Okay. So if that's 13.5 degrees, what's 169.8 plus 13.5? What's 169.8 plus what? So what's left for this angle up here? Um, nothing. Um, is there no solution again? No solution again. Because these two added up to be more than 180. Now, I knew before I even did any of this law of sign stuff that it wouldn't work. How can you look at that and say, mm, that's not going to work? Because 169.8 is opposite of what? 7.2, right? Is 7.2 the biggest side? No. The biggest angle has to be opposite the biggest side. We learned that in geometry. Well, if it's not opposite the biggest side, you know that they're just trying to pull your leg and this isn't really a triangle. So this one is a no solution. Okay. Okay. This one will have a solution. Let's do it quick so we... Make sure we understand what we're doing, what we're supposed to be doing. So acute angle, so draw an acute triangle, 32.6, that's beta, opposite of B, which is 26.5, A is 39.3 over here, and alpha is here, gamma then is up here, and C is down here, okay? So if we say the sine of 32.6 over 26.5, equals the sine of alpha over A, which is 39.3, and take I'm going to answer it? It's not my job. I've been answering because no one else has.
So if we do this, that's zero point sine of alpha is zero point seven nine nine zero. So alpha equals the inverse sine of point seven nine nine zero, which is fifty three point zero. So this is fifty three point zero. That adds up to eighty five point six which makes this 94.4, .4. okay? Then you draw an obtuse triangle because we aren't sure that that 53 is right. It could be 127. 127, 32.6 adds up to 159. Where are you getting the 127? You take 180 minus 53. Okay. Minus this one that we just figured out. Okay. So 180 minus that is that. So that adds up to 159.6. So that's like 20.4 up here. And once you have that, this is beta, beta, alpha, gamma, C. Then you can figure out side C on each of these. Do I need to do law of sines to figure out side C? No? Okay, we're good. Okay, so that's the basics of what we're doing. Whoa. Oh, <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa. What we're doing, oh my goodness, I'm going to lose my voice. But no, I won't lose my voice. You're going to take 30, the next 35 minutes in class to practice this. Okay, so for the next 35 minutes, we will practice this on Math Excel. It'll be section 5.1B.